In this video, we will cover the last two principles, 6th and 7th. Let's start with principle 6. It states that testing is context dependent. This means that the type of testing will depend upon the kind of product being tested. This is why testing is context dependent. So let's start breaking this down. Point 1. Safety critical industry control software is tested differently from an e-commerce mobile app. So a mobile application and a safety critical software will be tested differently. We can't use the same process for both applications. Now point 2. Testing in an agile project is done differently than testing in a sequential life cycle project. Our methods of testing in an agile project is completely different from how we test in a sequential life cycle project. This lecture is all about sequential life cycle projects. The final point is all about e-commerce. This is connected to the first point. How we test e-commerce is completely different. This is why principle 6 emphasizes that testing is context dependent. Keep that in mind and let's move on to principle 7. This principle states that absence of error is a fallacy. If you remember, we have already covered the essence of this in principle 1 and 2. Let's deconstruct that. Point 1. In an organization, it is expected that testers can run all possible tests and find all possible defects. This expectation is completely wrong. We can't run all possible tests and we cannot find all possible defects. Point 2. Says principle 2 and 1 respectively tell us that this is impossible. If you recall, principle 2 says that exhaustive testing is impossible and 1 says that we can never find all the bugs. We can claim to have found a bug but we can't claim that there are no defects left in the software. Further, it is a fallacy, that is a mistaken belief. So this is an incorrect belief that a tester can find all the mistakes that exist in a software. Our final point here is thoroughly testing all specified requirements and fixing all defects found could still produce a system that is difficult to use. Even if we do everything, there can still be environmental conditions, unfound defects or other factors that can cause the product to fail. It's not in our hands. This is why we cannot say that there are no errors left in a software. If someone claims that, then it is a mistaken belief. So, those were our final two principles. I'll see you in a new video. Until then, happy testing.